Hello Beatitudes! Welcome back to class. Happy Tuesday. So it's the day after Independence Day. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. I know you guys probably did some celebrating um, at the Beatitudes campus. Uh, I'm sure you all had a good time. I went out of town. I went to Sholo. went to go see my friend's beautiful new house in the woods. And it was glorious just to get out of this heat for a little bit. But I am back and at it. Let's see, it's Tuesday. Well, you know, I take this ahead, right? So I am actually also on campus today. So if you are watching this at the early showing, at the 1030 showing, I will be teaching live today on campus at one o'clock. I'll be a little bit late because I'm doing stuff back to back, but I'll be there. All right, so if you're staying at home and watching this at the 1.30 showing, well, hey, it's just like me being in person, right? Okay, my friends, are you ready to work out? Well, welcome to Fitness Foundations, and I'm Cami. So let's get ready to roll. Today we're just using those hand weights and your small rubber ball. All right, let's march it right, right and left. Always want to start out with a little bit of a warm-up for those joints and muscles. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, heels to the front with a push. 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 Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, toes to the back with a reach, 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 reach. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, roll your shoulders with a heel. It's roll, roll, alternating heels. Good, four more like this. Four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Heel jacks, arms and heels, arms and heels. Good. Keep it going. Four more like this. Four, three, two, one. Cross in front. Cross and open. Cross and open. Cross. Cross. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven. Five, four, three, little kicks to the front. It's kick, kick, right and left. Good. Keep that rhythm going. All right, add a push for four, three, two, one, overhead for four, three, two, one, up to the side for four, Three, two, one, walk it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just your heel. Six, heel and in. Heel and in. Heel, one more. Point your toes. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Stay standing, grab your weights, and join me right back here. All right, my lovely friends. When you're ready, we're gonna open with a continuing of our warm-up. We're rotating those long arms. Good, in and out. Beautiful job. Couple more, three, two, and one. Keep them turned out. Let's bend those elbows, tuck them in. 
All right, we're gonna rotate in near that belly button and we're gonna add a heel to it. Here we go. It's in with a heel. In with a heel, give me eight. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, arms down by your side. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a combo. Um, kind of sort of a balance, but not really. So you don't, you don't need to go behind the chair or anything. All right, so here's our combo today. Feet are gonna be in neutral, it's a squat combo. We're gonna squat, we're gonna stand, we're gonna point to the side and bring it in. We're gonna squat, we're gonna stand, we're gonna point to the other side and bring it back. So you see, it could be a little bit of a balancing. I don't want you to get all wrapped up in it. So if you need to put more of your foot down to stabilize, you're welcome to. So you choose your level of challenge. All right, this is already gonna challenge your brain. So we're gonna squat, we're gonna stand, we're gonna start with the right side first, and then we're gonna squat, stand, and go to the left. Okay, here we go. Down, up, right, and back. Down, up, left. Keep it going. Down, up, eight. Down, up, seven. Down, up, six. Down, up, five. Down, up, four. Down, up, three. Down, up, two. One more. Down, up, and one. Good. Did you get confused? It's okay if you did. It's good for your brain to follow a pattern. I do that stuff on purpose. Okay, my friends. We're going overhead. Bring these weights up. Palms facing forward. All right. We're going overhead. Let's add a heel. Looks like this. Up with a heel. Up with a heel. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, arms come down. Oh, let's rest those arms a little bit. Arms straight, palms facing the back of the room. Straight arm, push. Push, squeeze that back. It's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're back to those legs. Okay, feet in neutral. We're gonna do a deadlift. Now, last week I think we did a dead row. We're not incorporating row, we just did a back exercise. So this is a standalone deadlift. So feet in neutral, toes facing forward, or hinging forward from the hips. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. Hinging forward, eyes up. We're not going any further down than your knees. We're gonna squeeze the buns to come back up, okay? Now, we're gonna take two counts down and two counts up. And by down, I mean we're not going any further than the knees and your eyes are on me looks like this. It's down to the knees, up, and squeeze. Squeeze the buns. Good. Here we go. It's down, down, up for eight, down, down, up for seven, down, down, up for six, down, down, up for five, down, down, up for four, down, down, up for three, down, down, up for two, down, down, up, and one. Good job, I know you did a great job. Okay, last one in our lineup. We're gonna do reverse bicep curls. Reverse bicep curls, we haven't done these in a while. So that just means a regular bicep curl comes up and then returns down, right? So we're gonna reverse and we're gonna start at the top. 
So we're going to keep this isometric hold in those biceps. So we're starting at the top. Mm. All right. So abs are tight. You're standing tall. Starting at the top. Take it down. It's down. Bring it up for eight. Down for seven. Down for six. Down for five. Down for four. Down for three. Down for two. Down. Hold it here, right and left. It's right and left. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return those arms down. Good job. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning. And let's pick this up from our rotation with that heel. All right, so stand tall, tuck those elbows in. We're gonna rotate in by the belly button. Here we go. It's in with the heel, in with the heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, rest those arms, beautiful job. Okay, we're gonna go overhead, overhead. Bring those weights up, palms facing forward. All right, we're going overhead with the heel also. All right, you ready? Okay, it looks like this. It's push with the heel, push with the heel. Heels are optional, push, push. Give me eight, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Arms all the way down. Turn those palms to the back of the room. Roll those shoulders back. Re retain your good posture. All right, straight arm press back. Here we go. Push, push. Give me eight. Eight, squeeze that back. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. Beautiful job. Okay, we are back to our deadlift. So the leg exercise, we're working the back of the legs. Feet neutral, so heels right under the edges of your pelvic bones. Toes facing forward, so that means your feet aren't touching, they're not that close. Weights right in front of your thighs. You're gonna hinge forward from the hips. Don't go any lower than those knees. Keep your eyes on me. You're gonna squeeze the buns to pull it up. Our count is two counts down and two counts up. So, make sure your spine is tall. Don't bend from the waist. Here we go. It's down to the knees, up for eight. Down, down, up for seven. Down, down. Up for six, down, down, up for five, down, down, up for four, down, down, up for three, down, down, up for two, down, down, up, and one. Whew. Okay, we're almost done. We're back to those reverse bicep curls. Okay? All right, so. We're starting with the arms in the up position. All right, both together. Here we go. Take it down, curl it up for eight. Down for seven. Down for six. Down for five. Down for four. Down for three. Down for two, one more. Down, hold it here, right and left. It's right and left, get your rhythm. Right 
and left. Here we go. It's eight and up, seven and up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and rest those arms. Okay, my friends, let's put those weights in the chair. It's time to do a little balance exercise. All right, so I think I talked to you last week about the ability to hold your balance for 10 seconds on one leg and being able to achieve that can really dictate your quality of life and longevity of life going forward, not taking into account any underlying issues. So that's why balance is so important. It's a real good indicator of how well you're going to live the rest of your years. All right, are we ready? Here's what we're gonna do, something super simple. I just want you to balance on your left leg, okay? So closest to the chair, and all I'm gonna have you do is hold it today, okay? Now, if you're a little shaky, keep your hands low, and just use your fingertips to steady yourself on the chair. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, bring hands, here we go. It's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How was that? That was close to 10 seconds the way it was counting. So a good indicator of how you're doing. Let's go to the other side. If you're almost there but not quite, you should be practicing at home in a safe place where you've got something to hold on to, but you can regain more balance. Okay, friends, we're going to balance on that right leg. All your weights in that right leg, you're gonna lift that left one. And again, if your balance is a little shaky, keep the hands low so you can keep the fingers close to the chair. All right, a little bit more challenge, praying hands. Here we go. Eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, my, this foot was working a lot more than my other foot. This is the one I broke a couple years ago. It, I think I relied more on my other foot, so even I need to practice this because I'm uneven. It's normal to be uneven. All right, um, we're gonna stay standing. We're gonna grab that ball. Let's get our standing exercises out of the way and then we can just go right down to the chair and end it there. Okay, we're gonna do some hamstring curls. So you're putting that ball between the thighs, north of the knees. Now, people who have balance issues, you can stand right behind your chair. I'm gonna stand out here so you can see me. Okay, ball between the thighs. Bend the knees right and left. Right and left. Right and left. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Second set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, okay, keep that ball right there. We're gonna do some calf raises. Chairs there if you need it. Otherwise, it's pretty stable exercise. Lift the heels, lift the heels. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one second set. Eight, seven, squeeze those caps. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a seat. Move those weights out. Good. Come on down here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I have written there you. Okay. We're going to put that ball right between the knees. Okay, the little spacer there. All right, we're going to do some 
toe taps. Tap, 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 tap. Good. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out and in. Out, in, out, in. You got it. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The front of the shins burning. They should be. Excellent. Okay. Take that ball out. All right. We're going to put this ball right behind our back. We need to get some ab crunches in. All right. Sit tall. Cross those arms. Now I love my ab crunches. Okay, we're gonna pull that belly button in towards the spine. We're gonna round that back. You're gonna push back against that ball while you're squeezing those abdominal muscles. And then you're gonna open up and take a sip of air, okay? So we're exhaling as we come forward. Here we go. Squeeze, release, exhale. Eight, release, seven, Release, six, release, five, release, four, release, three, release, two, release, one more, one, and release. Cool. Shoot, man, I'm out of time. All right. Or ball gets doesn't get enough love. I'll have to do more ball stuff next week. Okay, my friends, go ahead and put this under the chair. Let's get you stretched out. Okay, come back forward in the chair. Sit tall. Take that right leg out in the diagonal. Point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out and breathe. Well, actually, I think the most important part is the weights. And you got plenty of weights today in standing. Bring it in, lift your knees, point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. I get a little snap crackle pop with my ankle. All right, sit up nice and tall again. Left leg comes out. Point your toe and give it a good hard flex so you're stretching those calves and work those calves. Extend that arm, feeling that stretch in the back of your legs. And bring it in, lift your knee, point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. Good. All right, sit nice and tall. Place those fingers together, round your back, round your arms like you're hugging a beach ball. And breathe. And release that, sit up nice and tall. Arms by your side, roll the thumbs back, tip that headband, and breathe. And release that, good. Right arm comes across, left arm pulls it in, drop that shoulder away from that chin line. Breathe. Good. This is the best part, huh? And switch. And release that right arm goes back up. Pat yourself on the back. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up. Lift that chin. And breathe. Good. And release that left side up and over. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up. Lift that chin. And breathe. And release that. Let's open up those arms out to the side. Turn your thumbs down to the ground. Press your palms back. Good. And release that. Okay. We're going to get those glutes. So one ankle over the knee. If you can't do this, you can always cross with the ankle. Do what works for you. But I do want you to sit tall. So lengthen that spine. You're going to tilt forward from that pelvis, not bending from the waist. You should feel a pull. On your butt cheek. Deep breath in and blow it out. 
stay flat like you're dropping that belly button and the opening your legs make. One more time, deep breath in. And blow it out. Good. And release that. Change the cross of your legs. All right, sit up nice and tall, watch that posture. And tilt forward with a flat back. Okay, deep breath in, blow it out. One more time, deep breath in, and blow it out. Okay. And release. Both feet flat on the floor, regain that posture, arms by your side, rotate those wrists, and go the other way. Deep breath in, arms up overhead, and exhale, and one last time. Deep breath in, and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.